This has to be the narcissist's biggest problem. One character flaw of the narcissist is their way of thinking about things. They're very lazy. They're unwilling to work or use energy. They're disinclined to activity or exertion. A lack of mental effort. Where they're always trying to simplify things. They're always trying to make things simpler or easier to understand. And yet they're always trying to indoctrinate you. They're trying to teach you to accept their set of beliefs uncritically. Which is not based on any reasoning. It's not based on finding an answer to the problem. By considering possible options. But they're very controlling. They have to control you and they have to control the environment. But they end up redefining definitions. They end up changing the way people think about a situation or activity. They cause people to consider it in a new way. They make changes to the way in which things should be regarded, understood or interpreted. Things that should be usual, typical or standard. They get people to think the same way as they do. They make excessively vague and general statements. Because the situation is too complex for them to understand. They draw a conclusion about something that is more general than justified. Rather than focusing on circumstances, facts or influences that could contribute to a different result. Because they're trying to get you to see things the way they do. So any other alternatives or possibilities are admitted. Because everything they do is designed to interpret new evidence as confirmation of their existing beliefs or theories. And this is the narcissist's biggest problem. They think in black and white. They see things in extremes where something is either all good or all bad. Because they need to have a firm conviction that something is the case. They need to be definite without having any doubts at all about something so that they can decide how things are going to pan out. Which is why they don't want you to have the freedom to govern yourself or control your own affairs. Because they can't control someone who is independent and uses critical thinking skills. They can't control someone who uses an objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment. They don't like people who think outside the box. People who explore ideas that are creative and unusual and that are not limited or controlled by rules or tradition. They don't like people who have other views or prospects, which may lead them to think differently. Because they're paranoid and hypervigilant. They're unreasonably and obsessively anxious, suspicious and mistrustful. Because they're always thinking that someone is out to get them. So they will portray you as wicked and threatening. They will make it seem like you are evil or as worthy of contempt or blame so that they can make it simpler and easier to do or understand because they don't want to deal with elements, features or factors that are liable to vary or change. They don't want to deal with other possibilities 
it's either all good or it's all bad. And as time goes by, they start to gain supporters and enablers. People who approve of and encourage them. People who follow this misleading and false account and impression until they begin to create their own alternate reality with its own rules, interpretations and beliefs which don't share any features or attributes with other people who may disagree with them or disapprove of what they're doing. Because they don't have time for people who are going to dispute the truth or validity of those views. So they try to set it up as though they're naive and not guilty of an offence. As though it's something that is of little consequence. And it's not a big problem or anything to worry about. But really they're trying to control and influence the minds of people who lack strength or energy. People who are not strong enough to stand pressure or hard effort. People who lack the ability to make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions. People who cannot form their own judgment. The narcissist will begin an unexpected development of events. They will develop a new outlook, a new variation where they have different interpretations and definitions of things so that they can make alterations to what something is supposed to mean. Because they have faulty and inaccurate thinking, perception and beliefs which are negatively biased which prevents them from seeing things as they actually are. So the truth could be right there in front of them. But if they don't want to see it, they will give it a different meaning. They will see it a different way. Based on one experience or situation, they won't want to see anything else. Which is where it can become morally questionable. But it's because they don't take other factors into consideration. They don't recognize that reality is not known or definite. You should never be too confident or sure of something because it's always changing and you can't control it. But black and white thinking does not allow them to find an intermediate position or area of compromise or possible agreement. It doesn't allow them to find the exception to the rule. It's not flexible, which is the main trait of a narcissist. It doesn't adjust to other variables. It's either all or nothing. It's their way or the highway. Because they draw a conclusion or make a statement about something that is more general than is justified. They make excessive and general statements about you. They draw an overly general conclusion without any evidence or information that can be a trusted basis for analysis and decision making. They're just going off of a feeling or guess. It's based on their intuition rather than fact. It's based on black and white thinking, which is a symptom of narcissistic personality disorder. They do it to make things simpler and easier to understand so that they can guess and have things their way. That's what it's intended to do but it is the symptom of a mental disorder. Because you should always consider other possibilities. You should always look at both sides. Because life isn't that simple. It's complex. It consists of many different and connected parts. It's uncertain. So you can never be too confident or too sure of something because there's too many variables and possibilities.
there's too many different factors to say that one thing is always a certain way. Which is why narcissists have to focus their attention on other people to get them to think and feel the same way. Because if they get other people to think the same way, there's no challenge to it. There's no opposition to what they're trying to achieve. So it's harder for you to get out of this unpleasant situation that you have no control over. It's harder to get out of the set of ideas and beliefs that the narcissist has imposed on you so that they can easily manipulate and control you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.